Hi friends, welcome to Pathology Riddles. Today, we shall discuss time management in pathology final exams. Do subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. We begin with the pattern of the paper which is followed in most universities. Usually, there are two 10 mark questions followed by 10 5 mark questions and then there are 10 3 mark questions. And the time given to complete all the answers for these questions is 3 hours. So, what is the strategy to be applied over here? Remember, start with 3 markers. You may ask why? Because the answers to these questions are specific. If you know the answers to all these 10 questions, you get 30 marks. This removes the fear of passing and you are under less stress and pressure while you answer the remaining questions. You need to allot maximum of 3 minutes for each question. The aim is to complete in 2 and a half minutes. So once 30 minutes are over, you should be completing all the 3 markers. After this, attempt 5 marks. Why? Because if you start 10 markers, there is possibility of spending too much time and you will only get 7 or 8 marks for that one question. You may also miss out on 5 markers due to insufficient time. So, for 5 markers, the maximum time allotment is 8 minutes per answer. So, the time taken for all the 5 markers should be no less than, no more than 80 minutes. Next, attempt 10 mark questions. This 10 mark questions, you allot 20 minutes for each. So finally, you have taken 30 minutes for 3 markers, 80 minutes for 5 markers and 40 minutes for 10 markers. Together, it makes up to 150 minutes, which is equal to 2 and a half hours. Now you have half an hour left with you. So you go back to the paper and see if you have left any questions, if you had forgotten something to write. Then write down. So finish that in the next 15 minutes. And the last 15 minutes you are going to check your paper. First you are going to check whether you have labeled all the questions according to the question number given in the question paper. Whether there has been any mismatch or mislabeling of questions. Then you see whether all the diagrams that you have drawn have been labeled or not. Then see if you have attempted everything or not. Attempt everything. Even if you do not know, try to make some sense out of the question and write something about it because some examiners are nice. If you attempt, there is a possibility you will get some marks which is required. So what are the points to note? Additional points to note. Though I told you that 3 markers you can get full marks, also see whether in the 5 markers or 10 markers, whether they have split the questions into 3. Those questions are also scoring. For example, 5 markers can be split like 3 plus 2 or 2 plus 2 plus 1. So these are also scoring questions. Remember to answer to the point. Even 10 markers can be 3 plus 3 plus 4. They are also scoring. Second point to notice, if the answer doesn't pop in your head and you see the question, leave it some space, go to the next one. Come back later, at the end, your mind will record the question and start searching for answers. Keep calm, it will come back. After that, organize your answers. Present your answers in bullet form. Try writing neatly, at least in the beginning of the paper. Because later you will be in a hurry to complete, so you might scribble and it might not be really legible. You may not be able to read it. If you feel blank, deep breathe. 5 minutes and then start again. Or 5 times, take deep breath and start again. Draw diagrams whenever possible. Diagrams need not be very artistic. Just label them. It has to give an impression that you understand what you are talking about. 
don't check the time regularly it's a waste of time if you want to know when to check after completing three markers after completing five questions of five marks and after completing 10 questions of five marks and finally after completing each 10 markers if you do not know all three markers leave space for answers and write later do not mix up examples if you start with three marks you know only two questions so you will write two questions then you will bring around five marks and then you will confuse the examiner the examiner will get irritated and uh, the examiner will be in a bad mood for the rest of your paper so whatever you have written nicely also you may get less marks because of that if possible practice two papers before entering exam hall though it may seem impossible in the present times but it will give you confidence and it will help in managing time better so friends good luck if your exam pattern is different let me know i will make one more video for the same but you need to tell me what are the marks allotted for different set of questions that's all for now see you in the next video bye